Now take a slice of drama, a pinch of comedy, a large dash of Hollywood hunk Bradley Cooper, mix them all together and you've got Michelin-starred movie Burnt. Three years without a word. What do you want? I want to make my kitchen the best in the world. Service! Yes, chef! I found a cook who doesn't know how good she is. I need you to come with me. Arrogant Well, he's a chef. Cooper plays a top chef turned drug fueled diva who cleans up his act and tries to resurrect his career in London, helped by some talented newcomers. He's a two star Michelin chef. To get you one Michelin star, you have to be like Luke Skywalker. Give me a nice dress. I gotta go to this party and uh, you're the only girl that I know, so. If you manage to get three, you're Yoda. What if he's Darth Vader? Cooper and Sienna Miller had intensive training from two Michelin-starred Marcus Waring and other world-famous chefs in real kitchens with big knives and intense heat. Pro chefs are big, bad and dangerous to know and live like rock stars. Sorry about that, Noel. Hey, guys. <laughs> hey. <laughs> well, we were got so lucky because we had uh, guys like Marcus Waring and Claire Smythe and Gordon Ramsay. I got to have one dinner with Marco Pierre White. I mean, it was really a, an incredible experience because uh, we were actually doing all the cooking in the kitchen, so we all had to train as much as we could. Watching how the chefs moved, learning how to use equipment, how to fillet fish, how to cook it. I mean, just basically a, a complete workshop with one of the greatest chefs in the world, so it was amazing. But really, Marcus Waring is the reason why it's authentic. When I found out who was going to play the leading chef, hey, it doesn't get any better. Pretty cool dude, and he looks great in whites, and he's a good cook. People love it, you know, it's like a sexy thing to do. We had a wonderful time. We were cooking, you know, Marcus's food, you know, 100, 120 meals, Michelin uh, quality meals a day. We ate all day long. Ricardo uh, Scarmaccio is probably the best cook of us all, and he kept, he was in the meat section. So we, we ate a lot. We ate a t way too much of the food that we cooked. Can't you tell just by looking at me? What's all? Bush, 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 bush. Like velvet, yeah, like yeah, velvet. Chef, chef. I thought we worked hard in the movie business. These guys in these high-end restaurants, they, they don't sleep. The pressure is immense in kitchens. There's so much pressure. These guys are nuts, I mean, whatever, but they're so much fun. And it's a pressure cooker. These are bad boys. We all got injuries. Uh, it pales in comparison to real chefs, but if you look at a real cook's arm, they just have scars everywhere. Sienna was on the fish, and she got she got burned quite a bit. And cut. Yeah, it's inevitable, because we were working in a live kitchen, but, um, but fun. I got burned a lot, but I pretended that I didn't, because it wouldn't have looked real, but I picked up a lot of spoons that were very hot during a take, but that, you're not supposed to do that. So it was actually a pretty dangerous place and very warm. You know what I mean? B Coop wanted to be a chef growing up and worked in restaurants as a teenager. On set, he was a natural in the kitchen. Natural and delicious, say his co-stars. We should be dealing in culinary orgasms. Remind me never, ever to discuss food with you in public. He's a really, really good and cool guy, hard worker, very nice and warm. Delicious, warm, gives you a hug. And he speaks a good French, so it was easier for me. He's kind of ferociously intelligent, so it makes it uh, fun. And you show a very steamy moment with uh, Bradley Cooper in the Oh, film. yes, I do. Tell us <laughs> what that was like. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about that. What was that like? Uh, it's a sweet and funny twist at the end. That was a really interesting dynamic, you know? He's eaten hummus or something before he kissed you. Yes, oh, God. Yeah, yeah. I spread the word, but it was really <laughs> the case. <laughs> he said that, yeah. I don't remember, but he would remember more than I would. The film's been burnt to a crisp by critics, though foodies and Bradley fans will be drooling. You're the ogre. The one who shouts? Yes, but I bake great cakes. Good? I've had better. Really?